Now, my name is Rex Chen, and it is my pleasure tonight to guide you through this MindSphere experience. Before we start, I'd actually like you to think back to the last time you had a great idea. And how did that idea go? Did it work out the way you wanted? I've seen a couple of shaking heads in here. <laughs> you see, for an idea to get to a stage where it can be used, it has to go through this realization phase. And this is where a lot of great ideas fall short. A friend of mine from uni had a nice idea. His family had a successful business producing tofu. And he wanted to put his computer science degree to work by figuring out exactly what are the, what are the conditions to make the perfect batch of tofu consistently. And being this data scientist in the making, he wanted to do this properly. He would gather as much information as possible from these machines and try and capture, correlate, and categorize what it was that made the difference in that perfect batch. And he also wanted to prove to his parents that his degree is not going to go to waste. So, I love tofu, and I love this idea. So I immediately jumped on board with him and started planning out exactly what we would need in order to realize this. Well, we were going to collect as much information as we can from these different production facilities, so we needed somewhere to store the data. And the fun part was that we were going to run all these fancy algorithms that we just learned from uni, so we needed some sort of computational resources. And we were going to share the answers and findings that we got to his parents and ensure that their employees had the right access to the right information. But then we realized there's no easy way to connect to all these different facilities. All these machines and all these different devices just talked in a different way. It was like getting a room full of people who all spoke different languages to try and give you information. It wasn't going to be easy. We needed some way to curate each machine and figure out exactly the information that we required. And if we were to do all of this properly, we'd need some sort of a, a sandpit, a safe place for us to play around and test with our code so that we're not going to break anything. And from the beginning, we had this plan of making sure whatever we created, we can share it to the mobile apps, share it to other software such as uh, planning, sales, logistics tools. How do, we, how do we do that? And then, speaking of access, we never even thought about security. So what was the simple idea of just creating the perfect tofu? Now looks something more like this. What a beast. And if you're wondering, did we end up making it? I can tell you this way. My friend now is doing really well with his computer science degree in real estate. <laughs> Anyways, does any of this look familiar to you? You had a great idea, but it was blocked because it was just too complex. And solutions like this, especially cloud solutions, can be complex. Now imagine if there was a way to simplify the process, to let you zoom through this process, giving you more time to create those ideas in the first place and maximize the utilization of those ideas. Well, today is a platform that does exactly that, a platform that connects to all kinds of assets by supporting the existing ways of communicating and the existing devices. More importantly, a platform that allows the creation of new ways to connect. And once the data is connected, there are general purpose tools to help you clean up and organize and visualize the data. For example, this one, business intelligence, allows you to visualize machine data and device information from a business point of view. Data flow creator allows you to set rules and filters so that you can make changes to the data as they come into the platform 
continuously. But that's not it. The main purpose here is to create the applications that are tailored to your solutions. So they are APIs, they are functionalities that's going to support that. For example, this one, anomaly detection. It learns from a history of data, what a good batch of data looks like, and then gives you a notification for when things are not going quite as expected. KPI calculation allows a platform to keep an eye on a couple of key parameters that you define. And all of these can be interacted with the existing programming languages that are commonly used today. But wait, there's more. Remember how you can create your own ways of connecting and your own applications to solve your problems? Well, this platform lets you share that creation across the world and lets you commercialize those creations, unlocking the potential for new business models. On the flip side, whatever problem you're having, it's a good chance that there's already a solution out there that does what you need, so you don't have to waste the time, money, and resources to create something new from scratch. And you guys all guessed it by now, this platform is called MindSphere, and it simplifies that complex and costly process into something much more manageable. It's not a tool that just fixes a specific problem. It's a platform that drives innovation. In fact, it demands innovation, and it demands a change in mindset. So now the question is, how do we take advantage of such a platform? As you would have heard earlier from Professor Alex Subic and CEO Jeff Connolly, in order for Australia to be prepared for the fourth industrial revolution, we need true collaboration between universities and industry. And so that is why here we are in this purpose-built facility. If you look behind you, on top of that Mindsphere dome is the ideation room. This is where all the wild creativity takes place with no limitations on technology. Under the dome is a realization area where those ideas get rapidly realized and then verified and tested. And after that, those ideas can even be utilized on those machines in the back. Now, I truly believe that this facility is going to be of great benefit to Swinburne and its students as it teaches the students the power of data and prepares them as a workforce of the future. This facility is going to be also be of good benefit to Siemens as we bring our customers and partners in here to go through the exact same journey of ideating and testing those ideas and getting fast feedback and verification. This facility is going to bring industry and education together to allow us to collaborate more importantly, allow us to be inspired by some of the existing solutions that are in place. And tonight, we have some of these solutions on demonstration for you guys to experience. So let me introduce you to them. On this side, we have intelligent infrastructure and smart cities powered by MindSphere. On the other side of the room, we have, you can see how MindSphere can help Australia through our energy transition. Under the dome, you'll see a case of how MindSphere is currently being used with, along with other software for Siemens ourselves to realize the Industry 4.0 dream in our own factories. And then near the entrance, you'll be able to see how Swinburne is preparing to use MindSphere for education and also actually already starting to implement MindSphere in this factory of the future. I'll also be around, so if you have any questions, feel free to approach me and ask me. But on that note, without further ado, please enjoy your experience. Thank you.